Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the min and max automation feature, which is one of a couple of ways that you can go about filling in your minimum and maximum prices for items in your inventory within Profit Protected Pro. Now, the best part about setting up a min and max automation is the fact that it is so easy to fill in your prices and all you have to do is set up the rules. So Profit Protector Pro is going to use these rules to do the work for you and calculate your minimum and maximum prices and the break even. Now, speaking of break even, before we go ahead and work through these rules, the very first thing you should do is scroll down to the very bottom and find the break even fee section. Now, it is really important to fill in everything here that you possibly can, so that way Profit Protector Pro has as much information possible in order to calculate an accurate break even. But not only does it get taken into account for the break even that gets calculated with your min and max rules, it also gets taken into account for things like the profit and ROI estimations as well. So it's important to get all of this set up as best as you can. So enter in your prep fees, any bundle fees, extra fees you can express as a regular value or a percentage, it's up to you. And then you need to select your VAT status. So if you're non-VAT registered, if you are VAT registered, it'll be standard accounting or quite possibly the flat fee scheme. And if you are a US seller, for example, you won't be applicable, in which case you select the option of not applicable here. You can toggle on or off if it is to take into account grocery VAT for relevant items. Enter in your shipping cost, and that can be per kilo or per pound. And then you can mark if you are VAT exempt on your referral fees and FBA fees. Now what this is, this is where you have written to Amazon and basically requested permission to be VAT exempt on these fees. If they have written back to you and granted you that permission, then by all means go ahead and mark yourself as exempt. But that is only if Amazon have granted you permission. Next, you need to set yourself a return on investment method. So there are six methods within Profit Protected Pro. If you click on ROI calculation information, it shows you each method and the sum for each method. So there's six different ones and it is completely up to you which method you choose. Of course, we recommend for UK sellers, you may want to go for method four because it takes a lot more into account here, plus Amazon fees and VAT where applicable. So you might want to use that if you're a UK seller. And for US sellers, we recommend method five because again, it takes a lot more into account and it's all VAT exclusive. But again, it is completely up to you which method you want to use. So select your method in here. And then once you've filled in everything that you possibly can in this section, save those changes. Now that we have done this, let's go ahead and look at the minimum and maximum price rules. Now they work exactly the same. You can set different rules for your minimum prices and maximum prices, it doesn't have to be the same. And you can set different rules per marketplace. So every marketplace that you have turned on in your account settings, every marketplace that you sell in, will appear in here. So it can all be different if you want it to be. So the first thing you do when you set up your rule is you select yourself a base element, which the rule is going to use in order to work out your minimum and maximum prices. So the options are the same in both. You can select from the buy box price, the break even or the ROI. So select whichever one you like. You can construct the rule in whatever way you want based on what you want to achieve and what works best for you. So it'll be the base element, then plus or minus a certain percentage. Then you have three options after this. So you can leave it at that, no further conditions, keep it simple. Or if you do want to add more to your rule, then you can select the options of or at least, and then there's the option of and at least. So if you select and at least, it's the same for or at least as well, you'll have the option to plus or minus a particular amount. So you'll enter whatever it is that you want in here. And so basically my minimum prices will be calculated with, and it will use both of these factors here to work out that price. If you select or at least, it's the same, so plus or minus a particular amount, Profit Protector Pro will use one or the other based on what it can do and based on what it is best to do. So if it can't quite use this factor here, it will then use this one here to calculate your minimum prices or vice versa, again, based on what it can do and based on what it is best to actually do. You've got the same options for the maximum prices as well, so you can set it up in whatever way that you like. Now, you'll notice that there are toggles on the top right of each rule. And once you've set up your rule and you're happy with it, you can toggle it as on. Now, the reason why you might want to toggle the minimum prices as on and leave this as off for the maximum prices is because you might only want Profit Protector Pro to work out your minimum prices, for example. You might want to fill in the maximum yourself. It's completely up to you how you do it. But if you are wanting Profit Protector Pro to use a rule, you need to mark it as on. 
Then you need to go to the bottom and click save all changes. Now there is a button here to apply to all the inventory, but before you go ahead and do that, I would always recommend coming to the repricing section, finding yourself one item, one or two items, it's completely up to you, and testing out the automate button on that particular item. The reason why I say that is because say if it doesn't calculate quite right or you want to amend it a little bit more before you go ahead and apply it to all of your inventory, it's a lot easier to reverse what has been done to one or two items than your entire inventory. So test it out every single time you go to change the rule or set up a new one, test it out on one or two items before you apply it to everything. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you can use any of the automate buttons. You can automate the min and max and break even for just this item in this marketplace, or you can automate the break even and min max for this item in all of the marketplaces that you sell it in. You can also automate just the minimum and just the maximum. It's completely up to you which one you want to do. So let's go ahead and choose this option here. Calculate a new break even, and you just have to wait for it. It will have a little calculation symbol here. So you just have to wait for that to complete. And there we go, that has calculated the minimum and maximum prices for us and the break even as well. So once you're happy with the way that it calculates, you can go back into your account and use the apply to all inventory button. Hopefully this video has helped. Go ahead and set up your minimum and maximum rules. Don't forget to fill in the break even fees as well. And I'll catch you in the next trading video.